So, and in 1985, when Sharper started, all these cars were battery operated. In 1985, uh, Sharper Toys had a deal with uh, McDonald's and uh, we sold 35 million pieces mini stomper. And actually, some of the quantities were produced by uh, Mr. Ting's factory, Qualitex. And uh, so, uh, no battery inside, so the car was much smaller, only like about two-thirds the size of the regular stomper. And when, when that program was introduced and sold to McDonald's, a lot of the fast food restaurants chains in the U.S. They liked the idea so much that most of them started giving out fast food premiums. You buy a Happy Meal, you buy something, and then uh, you, can, you, would give, you would be given a, a, a free gift. And uh, so s since then, the fast food premium business was growing very, very well. So other than these four items, I would say the other well-known items in the 90s were Tamagotchi. I don't know whether you have heard of it. You haven't heard of it. Furbies and Ninja Turtles. Furbies now is re being reintroduced. Re re reintroduced. Oops, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. So the Furbies is being reintroduced and um, so you you don't have to listen to what I say, and I don't want to help <laughs> market their toy. Ninja Turtle, I guess you also you have heard about this name, this toy. And uh, if not, maybe you can just go to the internet, and then you can take a look. And I would, I would say, you know, like being a designer, the Ninja Turtle is the, the toy I like the least. <laughs> and so how to, how to like help grow a toy product. Most of the toy companies, they, they would uh, develop play sets, stationery, uh, TV cartoons, and uh, video games, or other merchandises just to help grow the, 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 the product line. And so this is the area where, say, a toy designer can, can go in, into to help develop. So now my advice to you uh, potential designers are learn different materials, processes, and technologies. Materials in, term, in, in toys, in the toys manufacturing. I would say no other industry use as much material or as, as many kinds of material as toys. You almost, you, you name it, paper, plastic, metal, fabric, uh, almost like, you, you name it, electronics, you name it. We, toy almost cover everything. And so if you learn as many types of material as you can, and as many processes as you can, as many kind of technologies as you can, that helps you design toys a lot. And second, second one is, be as good as an engineer. Being a toy designer, I would say, I, I was a product designer, but not anymore now. <laughs> but being a product designer or a toy designer, we should train ourselves to be almost like as good as an engineer. A lot of time in my experience, when you talk to an engineer, they would tell you, oh, this cannot be done, that cannot be done. So if you're a designer, what would you, what would you do? What would you say? If you are told this cannot be done, you give it up or you continue to pursue? And I always challenge my engineer. I said, like 300 years ago, if I tell you I want to fly to the moon, what would you tell me? Oh, this cannot be done. But now, we can go to the moon. So I would encourage you not just you know, learn as a toy designer, but as an engineer as well. And here, safety, I put safety on top, but here, because I want to say a little bit more about safety. And uh, safety has to be built into a product, and by manufacturing, not by inspection. 
And another thing is safety, almost like 30 years ago, there is one word already in my dictionary. It's called redundancy. Redundancy means like we use two different assembling methods. In case one fails, we have the other one to back it up. And we have a safety expert here, uh, Dr. Vincent Temp, so I don't want to touch <laughs> his area too much. But say, uh, you, can, you can see a lot of the kids, when they play toys, they would not be careful. They would not like, uh, oh, I try not to break it. Try, I think they would break it as hard as they can. So when we design a toy, we have to design the toy to be as durable as possible. So safety really got to be put on top. Okay, this is what I want to say this morning within such a short period of time. Thank you very much.